<laughs> Hello and welcome back to this channel and another presentation of our positive word. How are you? I trust that you're doing good. The subject today is love in a box. <laughs> love in a box. Love. Love is a truly beautiful thing. When you have it, you live life to the full. Love will always be the foundation of life. It will always be relevant, as I've always said, as long as there's life on this planet. Of course, we know that God is love. And as children of God, we are meant to love as well. Love in a box. Can you, can you put love in a box? How long will such love survive before it dies? And why is love in a box? What is the value of a boxed love? For this session today, I will focus on the account of that woman with the alabaster jar, the expensive of, of, of expensive perfume in the book of Mark, chapter 14. And this is the read tonight. So that woman had the alabaster jar, which contained some expensive perfume. She broke that jar and poured the content on the head of Jesus. That action angered many people who were present at the time. Jesus rebuked them and told them that because those people, they, they claim that, oh, this, this perfume could have been sold and the proceeds would have been given to the poor. So when Jesus rebuked them, he told them that they will always have the poor with them. But he will not always be there physically all the time. That woman anointed Jesus while he was still alive. She did it while he was alive. Some of us claim to have love for people. We tell them that we love them. Sometimes we do not. I don't know why we find it hard to say and express our love for those we claim to love. But that woman expressed her love. That was a great act of kindness. Although it was not a colossal deed, it wasn't a, 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 a gigantic action. That act was done with great love. She had taken her time, thought about what she could do, how she could express her love for her father, and she anointed him. All it took it was for her to break a box. She broke that box and revealed the love which she had in her heart for the Lord. At the death of Jesus, when he died, a rich man, like we all know in the account, Joseph of Arimathea, spent a lot of money. He bought ointments that were used to embalm the body of Jesus. How often do we speak about that man? I don't think it's as often. But the story of that woman with the jar of oil, I would call it a jar of love, is told frequently. The love she displayed has become a legacy that can never die. First John chapter 4 verse 14 tells us that God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them. Love in a box. You can't box love. It's as, it's as if we're saying that we can put God in a box because God is love. True love is the greatest adventure of this life. I know very well that it is a blessing to have love in one's life. But when one is able to share with others or give that love to others, that is where the real blessing resides. Is your love in a box? If you can share your love, you will live life to the full. When we show love, we show God. What is the point of living your 
love in a box. That box will sit in one spot and collect dust until you decide to get rid of it. But we love when we express love and give it away in those little acts of kindness. You build precious memories with other people and those memories last forever. Tell those you love that you love them. Go a step further to express your love by your actions. Make your words of love have meaning. Bring love to life. We live in a world where love is in desperate need. People say, oh, I love you. But they find it hard to demonstrate this love by their actions. Let us get the love out of the box. Have you placed your love in a box? Have you been placed in a box by people who claim to love you? Have you? I urge you today to disappoint them this year by stepping out of that box. Come out of that box. Love awaits you somewhere else. One thing I know about love is when it is demonstrated, it is phenomenal. Don't keep your love in a box, my dear. There is an endless stream of folks who are pining, who are longing, yearning to be loved in diverse ways. Can you unbox that love and offer it to someone today? Show someone that real love exists. Let people see and know that love does exist because you are able to demonstrate, to express it, to live it, to share this real love. God is love. With God in our hearts, we will be able to love in everything we do, not just by our words, our actions, our inactions will demonstrate love. I love you. You should know that by now. And I will always let you know I love you. If there is a way you would want me to demonstrate it, reach out and we can show God's love that is in our hearts for you. I thank you for joining me today. Until I come your way again, it's goodbye for now. I see you unbox your love and let it shine this year. God bless you.